Hi, it's Conrad and Bugsy. Derek is taking a break today and doing some things on his own. And that's a good idea because we've been together and it's um, smart to recognize when you need a little space and when you need to rest. And actually that's a good lesson from what we're doing, what we're teaching, the self-awareness of uh, when it's all right to take a rest, to retreat for a moment, um, to marinate, let things soak in, or to tune out. Uh, all those things are all right, and to recognize that they're all right is important. So you're not hard on yourself. You don't have to be trying to do something all the time. You could take a break from these today. Um, just sit off. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and practice. It makes me feel good. Um, but anyway, just wanted to share that with you. We're doing well otherwise. It's a nice day here. And so if it feels right to you, join me for some gentle exercises with the intention of opening Opening the body with gentle movement and opening then the mind and the heart. Opening and thereby engaging. When we open to something, we uh, retire our objections. And those are often things that block us from enjoying something or seeing the beauty in something. So we just open to things the way they are. gentle turns as a way to wake up the body to movement and starting in the hips and in the lower back that's the place that we store a lot of tightness or some pain So going after that with movement is a way to self-heal. I can already feel the difference. You may have noticed we had a technical difficulty on the last video. <laughs> We're not experts. We're figuring it out as we go. But we appreciate people emailing and telling us that they're watching and enjoying the videos and making progress. Thank you for doing that. It's nice how this has become a community um, and a positive thing for all of us. Going a little deeper into turns and by looking over the shoulder you go a little deeper. You can go slower than I'm going if that feels good. We had a friend mention that these movements are similar to movements she practiced in warming up for Aikido. And the spiral movement informs so many physical activities in the ancient uh, practices like Tai Chi and the martial
martial arts that spring from that. It's because the wisdom of the spiral energy has borne the test of time as a way to tap into an essential movement to expand your energy to feel better. Proof of that is in how it feels for you. Is this something that's helpful? We're burning a little cinnamon up uh, incense. That's very uplifting. Been getting into nice hot teas in the morning and in the afternoon. Little things that add texture to your day when you're at home. I read an article about coming back to foods that have good memories associated with them, like holiday foods, as a way to bring comfort to your experience if you're stuck inside like we are. I'm coming up off the heels and I'm turning deep. Be careful with this though. Don't want to overdo it. And then coming back to a shorter range. stance opening up the sides. The core is strong here but also flexible. Bending but strong. As you go to one side one lung is compressed and the other lung is stretched open. So opening the chest now, one side, and then the other. Same as in the turns. As you turn deep one way, one side of the chest opens one lung more than the other. Increasing the depth of the bend a little. The reach of the upper arm over. Keep the head up and the chin up. Then try bringing up both arms. Going more slowly. deeper. Then with a narrow stance, reaching up and looking up. Now we're opening the lungs on their long axis from top to bottom. Before, we were opening the sides of the chest and the lungs. Now we're reaching and lengthening and opening. Not just the lungs, but that's the area where we're feeling the change in breath. Take a few deep inhales and a few deep exhales. Try leaning to one side, 
let the hips glide to the opposite side and breathe. And slowly over center and then the other direction. Back to center, looking up, palms together. And then try palms together and extending them towards the sky, reaching up a little more. And then bringing forearms aligned I'm bringing my stance more narrow now too. And from here, squeeze the glutes that protects the lower back as you bend back. Let the forearms press together. If you can, bring the elbows together. And then lift the elbows and gently allow yourself to arch back. down, Ooh, that feels good, and press, here you're activating the chest muscles by pressing, an isometric exercise, interlace your fingers and reach up, this really opens, Then arms down gently and roll them. I'm on hold for the SBA loan program and I'm caller 1395, which sounds bad, but I'm making progress. I think in a couple hours, I may get somebody. <laughs> in fact, let me check that. <laughs> I'm back. Won't hold over there. Go the other way, both arms. And then one arm at a time. See this movement, these movements are still opening around the center of the body, the core, the chest, making room. We're also, of course, moving and lubricating, if you will, the joints of the shoulder. Go back. And the joints throughout the arms and the wrists, the arms move and the wrists move. The hips are still moving. The more you do these warm-ups, the more powerful they turn out to be. From here, relax now your chin, your head into your chest. And then rotate. Slowly.
soft. And slowly stop. And from here, we're going to inhale and move. Breath and the movement inform each other. Try to join them, the movement and the breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. This inhale, allow yourself to arch a little bit. And then exhaling, you roll forward just a little bit and bring the belly in tight. Inhale, let the belly fill. And then exhale, empty. Suck in the belly. Now come up on the balls of your feet too with the inhale. Exhale down. And exhale. Widening the stance and turning the toes out. Inhale and sit back. legs are the strongest group of muscles in your body and you need to engage them to keep them strong and the squat is a great way to do that inhaling down feel the feet on the ground exhale push up check your knees and see that you're they're behind your toes not in front Get the knees behind the toes by sliding the hips back. I have an arch in my back, not a bend, so I'm looking upward even though I'm squatting down. Try coming up on the balls of your feet in the same movement. The knees will extend in front of the toes. That's all right, because we're not going to go deep. Don't go too deep. Balance and strength. Focus and awareness. And then let the arms drop and breathe naturally. Also, face palms, raise arms up. Still up on the balls of my feet, and then look up as well. Maybe sink the hips just a little more. Spread the toes, feel the balls of the feet firmly anchored into the ground. down come down and from here bending at the knees then bending at the hips and rolling forward elbows and hands Then you 
can try straightening at the knees. Feel that stretch. Remember to relax your neck, let your head hang freely. Try lifting the toes with the weight on your heels. I'm letting my hands hang as well, my arms. And at the knees, if it's comfortable for you, you can come down to a little rest like this. My heels are up, so I'm balancing here as well. Feel the blood pressure equalizing, giving the hamstrings a chance to recover from the stretch. And then going back into a forward bend. Maybe go in a little deeper. Then bending the knees, lifting up head, heart, hands. I always like to do a few turns right here to see the difference, to feel the difference. Mm -hmm. More relaxed. Easier breath. Warm. Feel good. Let's practice some sun salutations. The sun salutation is really the culmination of the movements we've been doing because they're the most the most extreme expression of the breath. If you had to act out in the most manifest way, the movement of a breath, which is usually contained within a small range here in the chest, the inhale and the exhale. But with the sun salutation, we inhale, reaching up, exhale, rolling forward and by rolling forward by bending we're pushing the air out right so as we reach up we inhale we pull the air in exhale blow the air out Bending the knees before coming up. Bending the knees before bending. You can feel it expanding each time more. Bigger inhales. More complete exhales. And if these are too much, you can stand, or if you're even if you're seated, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. The idea is not to lament where you want to be, where you think you should be, but to exploit where you are. Be happy with that and then do a little better. Expand on your capability. That's the best we can do. To be aware that we have capability and a desire to maintain it. To improve it.
Inhale up. And exhale, let the palms come to your heart. Send your heart some love right now. Mm -hmm. It's all right to send some love to yourself. And from there we can send love to others. And then open. This posture is sometimes referred to as the Madonna pose, the posture of Mary, as depicted in uh, Christian uh, depictions. Um, she's open. She is receiving. She is a yes to life, a yes to you. And so when you practice this, you're practicing being a yes. And that's a very powerful thing to be. Thanks for being a yes with me. Sending you love. Have a great day. Be fearless and open.